Local businesses are taking action against COVID-19, particularly restaurants. Some are closing, others offering alternatives. New Center Maine's Jackie Mundry takes a closer look at how restaurant owners are handling this outbreak in Bangor. City officials in Bangor are working to help small businesses survive during the COVID-19 outbreak, particularly the city's restaurants. Businesses are considering moving towards uh, curbside service rather than dining in. Um, how do we make sure that they have what they need to make that transition? One business opting for curbside pickup, Sea Dog. If people feel more safe being in their own vehicles, we now offer curbside pickup. So all they have to do is call and we can bring out their food. For some downtown Bangor businesses looking to offer curbside or delivery services, parking may be a challenge. Tanya Emery is the economic development director in the city of Bangor. And so we have the ability to rope off a few parking spaces here and there for curbside service. Other restaurants closing altogether, including Patty Murphy's and Gagan's. Patty Murphy's writing on Facebook, no, we will not open on St. Patrick's Day, our favorite day of the whole year. Yes, our staff can be paid through state unemployment benefits. Gagans echoes that same message with this sign on its locked door. This is a public health crisis, but this is also an economic crisis. The city of Bangor has a full list of local businesses that are closed and offering curbside or takeout options on its website. In Bangor, Jackie Mundry, New Center, Maine. Bangor Savings Bank plans to continue all banking functions and services amid the pandemic, but there will be new proactive measures set in place. All branches across Maine and New Hampshire will continue to provide normal drive-up teller and ATM service, but starting Wednesday, all lobbies and staff will be available by appointment only. Online banking, mobile banking, and the bank's call center will be available as usual. Nearly 650 Bangor Savings employees will start working from home tomorrow.